so many choices. Which case should I buy? Waiting a long time for this. This is the iBlazon Aries series, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 case that I purchased from Amazon for a price of $19.99. I actually did some research and um, I compared it to four different cases, such as the Subcase, the Spigen, the Zizo, and the U Maker. I decided to go with this because it has 418 reviews, four and a half stars out of five, with 77% giving it five stars, only 4% one star. Right here's the case that it comes with. Yes, I wasn't gonna use my brand new Samsung Note 9. Are you crazy with our case? No way. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I bought that for from Black Friday for $400 off from Verizon Wireless. The regular price was $999.99, and it's the 128 gigabyte version. And let's go ahead and see what all this consists of, guys. You have this installation guide, pretty easy. Basically, what it says is insert a coin in the corner, you cover the front, all right, and then place it onto the back. Very simple, probably don't even need a coin. And then next up is a thank you card. Check them out online. And nicely wrapped is the case itself. I believe they offer four different colors. I decided to pick the blue color because it matches my phone perfectly. This is the ocean blue. Got a nice padding right here. All right, and here is the back. So here is the front. This is the protective case. It is fairly uh, flimsy. I wouldn't say thick at all, kind of like a mylar thickness. It feels nice to the touch and it looks like it's fairly nicely designed. All right, and here's the back of the case. You have the rubber padding throughout. You got the buns on the side. And on the back is the awesome blue color that I decided to go with. You got to cut out, um, actually, my bad, it's not cut out. It is a plastic, Oh, actually, it is a cow. My bad. This is what you peel away. All right. Very clear plastic. This is of a harder, probably like two to three times the thickness of the front cover. Nice blue color right there. All the opening and slots. It's got an eye blazing logo on the side. So let's go ahead and uh, put it on to my brand new Samsung Note 9. All right. So as it said. Actually, I'm gonna peel this off. How about that? I kind of don't want to peel it, but all right, just for you guys, peel that off. Peel off the back. Actually, I gotta peel the front too. Here we go, guys. So I believe the best way is to insert one end in there, matching it with the cutouts. And then just to snap it in there nicely like that all right and then we are gonna line up with the bottom this is the top end this is the bottom end and then just snap it in there make sure all the corners are inside don't leave any gaps and it's protected 360 degrees um, all around the front cover, the sides, the back, pretty much all around. So here's the phone with it properly secured inside this case. Now let's go ahead and check out the design of it. That looks like center to me. So you have this flap that Let's you I got access to the uh, audio jack. This is for the charge port, so it kind of closes too. Definitely appreciate that, so it doesn't get any um, residue of dust in there. Same with the audio jack. That's pretty much center right there. And let's see how easy it is to get to the S Pen. My I would say I have pretty small size hands, but it looks like it needs to be a little bit digging into. You might need some fingernails to get into that. 
Let's try that again. It's not horrible, but it's not the easiest access. All right, let's go ahead and test out these parts and make sure they are fully functional. Let's see if I was to attach a headphone to it. It's right in line with that. And if I was to charge it, And yep, it's directly centered and lined up. Can't ask for more. So power button, responsive, eye blades and logo. Let's try the different buttons right here. Pretty much responsive with the ringtone. Okay. And on the back, it shows the awesome Samsung logo. See that? So it's clear with the cutoff for the camera and everything. Nice blue color to it it's pretty awesome it feels pretty nice to the touch but there's no rubberized grip that's what I suggest I should do maybe some lines on it so it's not as slippery let's see how responsive it is with the screen protector so we need to verify your information before activating your phone and lastly let's go ahead and see how responsive the phone is with the case on I'm gonna say YouTube Typing is real easy. Uh, whoop, if I can type right and spell right. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and, to, and um, go to one of my movies. Nope. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and play that. Like that. Well, of course it's going to play in the air first. So as you can tell, it's very responsive. I have no gripes. And let's make sure to test out the S Pen sensitivity with the screen cover on. All right, let's go to Google Chrome. Uh, go to my channel. It's real sensitive. It's got adaptive feel to it. Unfortunately, guys, I am not crazy or rich enough to perform a drop test on my brand new phone. But what I can do is point out the protection that it offers. So let's say if I just drop on the back, it should be perfectly okay because the back is rubberized. And let's say if I were to drop on the corners in the back, that's the purpose of these uh, overhangs or lips are on all four corners. And let's say if I was to drop it, let's say face first, right? There you see. What reaches the ground first? It's the lip. There's a purpose of why you have these overhanging lips. That would be the first contact that it reaches. So it will never touch the ground unless you have a piece of rock, which might hit the screen, but that's the purpose of this Mylar film that protects the front and the back so that's the protection that you have pretty nice isn't it this is clear evidence that there is a gap between the screen and the ground i love the contact points and the awesome design all right guys i know this is a huge phone let's see how well it fits with the cover inside my slim fit pants it's gonna take some getting used to because Compared to the iPhone 7, this is quite big. Hey, actually it fits, guys. But I'm not sure about bending down and trying to tie my shoes, but at least we know it fits, right? Also, here is a safety tip. What I like to do is put the back of the phone facing front. So the screen facing my leg. That way, if I run into any corners or sharp edges, that way it doesn't crack the screen. How do you like that for a YouTube tip? Hey guys, look no further because the iBlazon Aries series of smartphone covers is the one to get. It's affordable. It features 360 degrees protection for the front and the back. Not many designs feature a clear cover where you can show off the true beauty, the vibrant colors, and the beautiful Samsung logo such as this case. Love seeing that Galaxy Note 9. 
And on top of that, it features one of the rare front protective cases. So yeah, if you're in the market for an awesome, nice looking case to help protect your Samsung Note 9, this is one to get. That's the eye blazing Samsung Note 9 cover review. Until next time, take care of yourselves, especially your expensive phones.